Now, before we start creating React application, we need to understand when and where to use React properties and state. In React component, property are variables passed to it by its parent component. And state, on the other hand, is a still variable, but directly initialized and managed by the component. The state can be initialized by properties, and properties can be initialized by state. Now, suppose you have parent and child component. So, let me just create a new file inside this app folder. I'm going to create a new file and specify name to it props versus child.js. And inside this file, I'm going to create two components. So, I'm going to say here react class component. I'm going to first create the parent component. So, let me just add here a command parent component. Then, just down here, I'm going to create child component. So let me create here a child component as well. So I'm going to say here class child extends component. So this is my parent component and this is the child component. What I'm going to do is inside this child component right here, I'm going to simply first create a constructor with property and then I'm going to say super props. Just out of that, just down here, I'm going to create a simple state. So I'm going to say here this dot state is equal to and then I'm going to pass here object. Inside this object, I'm going to simply create a key, color, name. And I'm going to specify value to it, blue. That's upon you, you can specify any value to this state property. Just out of that, I'm going to create here a console massive. So I'm going to say console.log. And then I'm going to say this dot state dot color name. Just out of that, let me just call this child. Inside this parent component, here I'm going to say child. And I'm going to just close it. Let me save the changes back to the index and use my parent component. So let me just here import my parent component like this and save this file. As you can see, I'm going to have an error message. Render is not a function. When you back to your component, then you can notice in the child component, you don't have the render method. Whenever you create a component in React, you have to implement the render method. Without it, you can't create the React component. So let me just create here a render method. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And I'm going to just get rid of the child. Let me save this file back to my browser. As you can see, I'm not going to get any error. Let me check my inspect tool. So when I open my console, you can see I'm going to have a message blue. This will print the state value in the console. But what I want, I want to pass this value using property. Then I can simply use here props dot color. And now I can specify this color property in the parent component like this. So now if I just specify here yellow, save the changes. When I reload it, you can see I'm going to have yellow as a result. So you can notice we are passing the state value of the child using the property of the parent component. Now let me reverse the same thing. Let me copy this constructor, paste it in the parent component like this. Then I'm going to just back to the child component, get rid of this constructor. And here inside this division tag, I'm going to just simply place curly braces. And I'm going to say here this dot props dot color. Now again, notice I use here this keyword to create a property of this component. But if I have props in the constructor, I don't need to use this keyword. You can notice here, I don't need to use this keyword here because I have property as a parameter to this constructor. So I can use these properties without this keyword. Now, just for that, let me get it of this props color. And here I'm going to specify mango. To this color, I'm going to simply specify this dot state dot color name. Let me save these changes. So this time we are getting the value of the property using state. So now you understand the state can be initialized by property and property can be initialized by state. Now keep in mind property should never be changed in the child component. So if there is something going on that alters some variable, that variable should belongs to the component state. Property are also used to allow child components to access methods defined in the parent component. This is a good way to centralize managing the state in the parent component and avoid children having the need to have their own state. Like properties, the state holds information about the component. However, the kind of information and how it handle is different. But when to use property and state? Whenever you want to display something in your component, you can use property. And when the component wants to update or if you want to track how many times the button clicks, use state. So when you just want to print something, 
just use a functional component with property. And if you want to update any value in your component, use React, use state hook in the functional component. So I hope you understand where you can use state and property in the React application. Next, we can understand how to style JSX in React application.